So just now, Notion have introduced their AI to everyone. Now everyone who has a Notion account will be able to get access to it. I wanted to go over a few ways that you can start using the Notion AI right away and some useful ways that it actually is practical in everyday use. This video will hopefully give you a bit of an idea about how it works and how it operates. Now, before we begin, you can find a few useful templates to Notion below that we have launched and also others have launched. You can find that link in the description. Okay, so here we are inside of Notion. And as you can see, instantaneously, the version is available. Now, I'm not sure entirely how much this is inclusive, but the one thing that I will need to let you know is that as you can see, it's designed for privacy. So they're training your content and AI conversations are not used to train the AI, which is great news. And the AI may provide inaccurate results. But more indefinitely, they are allowing you to try it for free to get 20 AI responses to try. And then you can add an add-on for unlimited AI responses to be added to your plan later. So here we are with the Notion AI. What I'm gonna do is show you a few core examples of how you can start using it today. This is much more for those who have not had access to it. And I wanted to share some examples that could be pretty helpful. So to start using it, you can press space inside the content and it pops up. Now there's a host host of different ways you can use it. I'm gonna first show you table use because I think that's pretty cool. And the second example, I'm gonna show you uh, find action items as part of some of your work that you might have. And finally, I'm gonna show you uh, how you can use Contact Blanc in data templates. So here's a good example of uh, the table use. So I wanted to create a table um, of comparison between Notion and Coda in, in features. This is pretty brutal on a first day. Um, and as you can see, what it's doing is it's automatically breaking it down. So I feel like tables can sometimes be some of the most beneficial function of this because what it can do is summarize useful content but it only, won't only bring it from the web, but it will also bring it from anything you're doing in the page. So for example, if I wanted to extend this, um, for example, I could say, um, extract the most useful features that I can use for making databases from both of these then what it does is it take whatever there. I'm not sure it will give a phenomenal response because that's a very specific thing as part of that, but let's see. So here we go. It has sort of reformatted it, which is helpful, and it has selected the database. So I was actually impressed by that. Now, what it's actually going to find more beneficial is if you have a lot of content. So let's take a good meeting example and, and mock up what that could be and find some action items from it. Okay, let's say you made some really dumb notes like this. <laughs> no, nice and simple, no structure. The one thing you could do, I've been used to being pressing slash command, but you could press a space and naturally go summarize or actually find action items from this. And this can start preparing those action items from here. Now in this case is actually just taking what I have in that list. Um, maybe I need to associate dates of action and what it might try and do is bring together. So there we go. Um, it's basing that off of not much though. So of course, if you had like some key dates, like in the find an event venue in Wyoming today, it might be able to pull that out. But what's nice is it actually allows you to drag people in. So for example, sign these to people. Um, if you had certain people's names, it would say at Bob, at Sarah, etc. But as you can see, it's sort of making it up because I'm making it up, if that makes sense. But I've seen it good examples of it actually taking um, names uh, and actually assigning dates as well as um, uh, summarizing everything that you need to know. So quite helpful in terms of summarizing action items. So one of the things I think would be pretty helpful is the ability to embed this in a template. So if I decide to type in uh, the content blocks. Um, so as you can see, this is a custom AI block. I'm not sure if everyone else has this. 
but let's say you were like, okay, um, let's call this one new meeting. Um, summarize new meeting and all the items below this. And then let's say you did have a meeting. As you can see, the document pertains to a new meeting. There's no content to summarize at this time. So let's say I went and created a new meeting and uh, it created the preset for this with the content block. If I started adding items below, like call Sarah and meet with her on Tuesday and maybe find Bob Charles. And if I press generate, I assume what it's going to do. And you can see here that it's already starting to summarize. But this can be quite helpful when you've got presets. So for example, that's a bad example with a meeting. But if you wanted to demonstrate something that was replicatable every time. So something we've done is we've actually created a content block for when we create a short summary of each of the new apps that we mentioned with the template database. Because what it does, it tends to pull in a good summary of them that we can adapt and change, but quickly sort of refine it. So as you can see, what we've done is actually, we can say summarize in 50 characters what new tool, nah, new tool name is. And that's helpful because every time we recreate a tool now, it's gonna go, okay, what's the tool title? In this case, it could be like Miro or Routine, and it actually will help you to generate it automatically, which is helpful, which allows us just to refine the policy around it and actually improving it. So there are three ways that I think Notion AI are pretty helpful, particularly in our examples. And uh, I hope you find some value from it. As I said, there's some templates below that we currently uh, got um, some affiliation with, so you can find them linked below if you're interested. And uh, I look forward to seeing how you are all using Notion's AI.